You gonna hang out here? Okay. Hi, welcome to another edition of the podcast known as Blending the Family. I'm your host, Tommy Maloney. Our dog, Otis. Our dog, Otis Colorado. Hashtag. Hashtag, our dog, Otis Colorado. He's here in the home office hanging with me. I love it. I love him. Wait, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at him right now. By the way, buddy, we're going to talk about something you don't like to do on the leash, but you like to go to the P-A-R-K. D-O-G-P-A-R-K. I'm afraid if I say the P-A-R-K word, he'll think that we're going. So, anyway. Uh, Tommy Maloney, host of this podcast. It's Wednesday. We're going to talk about Walking Wednesday. Now, it doesn't necessarily mean physically. It could be emotionally. It could be spiritually. You're walking. And... That's what Wednesdays are going to be about, Walking Wednesday. So, as I was just saying, I might have to say the P word. One of the things I enjoy doing when I'm home is, I'm afraid, he's right here. All right, I'm going to say it. One of the things I really much enjoy doing is Otis and I going to the dog park. Oh, he didn't. He wasn't paying attention. And as an introvert, I love going to the the, the dog park because number one, I'm a I'm a dog fan. I'm a dog lover. Sorry, I'm sorry. Cats, they're okay, but I love being around dogs. Yes, there are some dogs that rather be hang around humans, and then there's other dogs who'd rather be hang around other dogs than humans. But one of the things I love about walking at the dog park is twofold. One is there are days where I put my headphones in and I'll listen to some music or listen to a podcast. Or some days I won't listen uh, or I won't put in the headphones. And I'll just walk and listen. And I'm starting to become more and more of that person of not using headphones and not not just... Uh, being in tune with nature, but being in tune, especially at the park, you know, hearing the dogs, making sure that Otis is safe and making sure that other dogs are safe too. One thing I learned from my dad was walking. Uh, He lives in downtown Chicago. And as a kid, I hated it. I hated walking from when I go visit him and we go from the train station to his apartment and a lot of walking. I want to be in a cab. I want to be, you know, in the back of the cab, especially in a Chicago winter. Um, but I picked up that habit from him of, of love, the ability to go uh, places and not have to have a car and, and walk. You know, Steve Jobs was famous for having walking meetings. And I tell people that want to set up zoom meetings with me i say can we do it over the phone because i'd rather be walking i'd rather be outside i'd rather you know doing something versus standing in front of a computer having that little corner of me on that zoom and you know there are times where i just have to get rid of that little picture because i don't want to see myself like a lot of us very self-conscious on video calls and video chats but one of the things I want to talk about is, well, what are you walking towards? Is it something good? Are you maybe walking towards a new job? Maybe a new relationship? Maybe a new fitness program? I weighed myself today and I was not happy. I realized I'm not doing enough cardio. I'm not walking enough. And sure, you can say, oh, you, you've got to get those 10,000 steps in. It has been scientifically proven that 10,000 steps. Actually, in, in my view, as long as I can get anything above 5,000 steps in a day, that's progress for me. But maybe you're walking away from something. Maybe you're walking away from a job you don't like. Maybe you're walking away from a relationship that just isn't fulfilling. As I was just touching on, maybe you're walking away from choices that should be healthier 
but you should be thinking about walking towards healthier decisions, healthier food habits, having uh, healthier uh, exercise regimes or programs. So this podcast is this type of episode, this Walking Wednesday, we're going to explore topics that can move you in different directions. And from time to time, we'll have guests talking about how to put you on a better path. So I just want to introduce this this podcast. This, Even though it's still blending in the family, it falls under the umbrella of Walking Wednesday. So today I want to start simple. And I, and I will use the walking in a physical kind of way. Because walking can do many things for you. Not only is it good exercise, but it helps clear your mind. Plus, if you're outside and it's sunny out, you can get some healthy vitamin D. So, like I said, I want you to start small. And maybe today, instead of trying to set steps as as the ultimate goal, maybe time. Maybe go take a 15-minute walk. Maybe a 30-minute walk. Whatever you can fit in. Because my goal of this podcast is to help you find a way to get you moving in a direction that's going to be not only healthy for you, but maybe fun. You know, for me, I find myself at times wanting to just walk for hours, but I don't have the time. I got to make the time. So walking Wednesdays, you and I are just going to hang together, maybe from time to time, maybe I'll be walking and talking, and you could be walking and listening. Because I want you to be successful. I want you to enjoy life. Um, I I posted or responded to somebody's post on, on LinkedIn, essentially saying, Life is too short. Life is short. You know, we don't get do-overs. Life is not a dress rehearsal. This is the real thing. This is the real show. So with that being said, as I always say to end this podcast, I truly mean it. I truly mean that I hope I bring value in every episode. I hope I bring good content for you. And I really do believe that if you're successful, I'm successful. And if I'm successful, you'll be successful. I get that from Terry Crews. And Terry Crews, in my opinion, is one of those people that understands how to be successful and share his success with others. As we walk away from each other right now, Your success is my success. Oh, Odie says hi too.